Hi everyone, welcome to our training video on allocations. In this video, I will be going over the purpose of our allocation feature. I will demonstrate how you can take a product and make it an allocated product. I'll show you how you can create an allocation and set different quantity limits and access. We'll also be taking a look at how an allocation looks on the customer's end on the website. Uh, and lastly, we'll be going over the wish list and custom grant functionality within the allocation feature. So without further ado, let's jump right to the demo. So here we are on the Commerce 7 admin panel. Um, we're going to navigate over to store and allocations. And here is a list of all your allocations. In general, the main purpose of an allocation is to sell limited edition products to your best customers. For example, if you have a specific vintage or varietal that's very popular and you only have a limited quantity of, you'll want to use the allocation feature to determine which ones of your customers will have access to purchase this product. On top of creating restrictions around who can purchase a specific product, the allocation feature also allows you to limit the quantity that someone can purchase. These two functionalities combined will allow you to manage how these limited inventory products are sold and to ensure that all your best customers have an opportunity to purchase them. So before we can get started with creating an allocation, we will need to first set up a product as an allocated product. So to do so, we'll navigate over to the product section here and we will look for the product that we want to allocate. For example, let's say that 2016 Pinot Noir is a very popular SKU, but you only have limited quantities of it. You would like only your best club members to be able to purchase it. And on top of that, they should only be able to purchase a maximum of six. So to implement that, we will navigate over to the security section on the product. We'll scroll down to the security. Um, right now it's configured to secure to public, which means that anyone can purchase this SKU. We're going to set it to allocation. This means that only customers that are a part of the allocation that we will create will be able to purchase this product. And they will only be able to purchase it within the quantity restrictions configured in the allocation. When configuring the security to allocation, you will have an option to determine how the product will display when the customer is not yet logged in. You have the option to display the product and show a login button. So with this configuration, the product will still appear in the collection. It will not have an add to cart button it will have a login button instead, sort of encouraging the customer to log in first before they can make a purchase. And then the second option is don't display the product, which will remove the product completely from appearing in the collection. So I'm gonna click on save here to save the changes. Then I'm gonna navigate over to the allocation section and create our allocation. To do so, I'll click on Add Allocation on the top right-hand corner. The first thing you need to do is to give your allocation a title. And also a start and end date to the allocation. Let's say I want this product to only be available for this allocation for one month. I'll configure that. Next, you will look for the product that will be a part of this allocation. So we'll look for our 2016 Pinot Noir. You can have multiple products within an allocation. 
So if you have multiple allocated products, um, you can add them all into a single allocation and all the club members and tags that you have given permission to purchase uh, will be able to purchase any of the products in that allocation. So in this example, we only have one product, so they can only purchase this one allocated SKU. And as I mentioned, you can um, reduce the max quantity. In this case, we want to reduce it to six. And click on continue. Next, we have to determine who will be able to access the allocation. So you can make an allocation available to a club level, a specific customer tag, or an individual customer. In our example, we wanted to make the allocation accessible to certain club levels only. And here is where you can determine which club level you want to provide access to this allocation. Let's say these are um, for my best clubs. You can also provide permission to purchase to both clubs and tags and customers within the same allocation. So if you want to also allow a group of um, your best customers or your VIPs to be able to uh, purchase this product as well, you can do so here. Um, and then lastly, if you would like a specific customer that do not belong to a club or a tag, but you want to have him or her be able to purchase the SKU, you can um, add them to the allocation manually like so. And once you're happy with selecting who should be able to purchase wines within this allocation, you'll want to click on Save Allocation. So let's take a look at what the allocation looks like once it's all saved. So as you can see, um, we have the start date and end date for the allocation, the products within the allocation um, that they can purchase along with the min and max quantity that can be purchased. Then we have the allocation available to section, which shows you who is going to be able to purchase uh, from this allocation. I'm actually going to add uh, my customer, uh, my test customer account, so I can uh, demonstrate what this looks like on the front end. Perfect. Um, so we'll navigate over to the website. Um, we'll click on wines. And as you can see there, the 2016 Pinot Noir is displayed at the very top uh, with a login button. So it's sort of forcing me to log in first before I can purchase it. So I click on login. And now once I'm logged in, I see the add to cart button for this SKU. It also shows the allocated quantity, showing the min and max of one and six, along with the name of the allocation. There's also going to be an option to request more. For customers who would like to purchase more than the uh, maximum of six, which has been allocated, they can request for a custom grant um, and look, request for three more, for example. This will uh, increase their maximum count from six to nine if the wish is approved. So now I'm gonna click on add to cart and complete the checkout process. And if we navigate over uh, back to the allocation, um, we should see um, the wish that was submitted. 
So if we go into the Wish tab here, we should see that uh, this customer requested for a custom Wish for an additional three bottles of the 2016 Pinot Noir. Let's say you don't want to grant the full um, additional three bottles. You only want to allow them to purchase an additional one bottle for a total of seven. Um, you can do so here. So back to the website. Um, if this customer, after purchasing their one bottle, um, clicks on continue shopping, um, they're going to see their previous purchase. So based on this information, they should know how many more bottles um, they can purchase until their limits is reached. So in this case, they can purchase five more. And let's complete that second purchase. Great. Now, uh, when they're on this page, after having purchased six and the max is six and the wish quantity is not yet approved, if the customer attempts to add the seventh bottle to their cart, they'll receive an error um, indicating that they've exceeded the maximum quantity. So now, if you go back to the wish list, you should see the uh, request um, or the wish to be able to purchase an additional bottle of the 2016 Pinot Noir. At this point, it's just a wish and it has not been granted yet. You will have the ability to grant these wishes in the custom grant tab here. In general, um, you will want to let your allocation run. Um, in this case, it's a month long allocation. You'll want to let it run, let's say 75% of the way and let your wish list um, grow. In practice, you're probably going to see a lot of customers request to purchase your most popular bottle of wine. And um, you know, towards the end of the allocation, you'll want to start um, granting these wishes based on your product availability. So to do so, you'll navigate over to the custom grant tab, click on add allocation grant, look for the customer who wished for an additional bottle and you can add an additional grant of one which will then allow this customer to purchase an additional bottle of the 2016 Pinot Noir. So let's go back to the website. Um, previously we attempted to purchase this and ran into an error so we're going to reload the page and as you can see there is a new field here for additional granted of one and they can continue um, through the checkout process for that last bottle that they are eligible to purchase. And we'll go through the checkout process for this last bottle. And if you go back to the continue shopping page, you should see that while the allocated quantity is one to six, this customer has been able to purchase a total of seven because of the additional granted of one. And if I click on add to cart, it shouldn't let me uh, do so. There we go. Thank you for listening to the allocation training video. Um, we were able to cover some of the most common workflows within the allocation feature, um, such as the wish list and the custom grant, and show you what it looks like on the website. Hope you're able to gain a better understanding of how our allocation feature works and when you should use it. Thank you for your time.